I became Christian. Actually, I faced death threats because of that, and there is years of rejection because I faced a serious threat. My wife, my kids and I, we left Tunisia, and then God led me to the Middle East, to this ministry called Lighthouse Arab World. We use media, art as a tool, as a language, making movies, and evangelical radio station. My son came one day and said, oh, we heard about this uh, historic Jesus series. When I first watched The Chosen, I was like, this is good. I got to tell people about this. The artistic level and the beautiful cinematography and the filming and the storytelling and the beautiful acting of Matthew shocked me. And, oh, that, that character is unbelievable something else and it touched my heart a lot well speaking to his mom and dad being rejected and acceptance i have no son when i became christian i was rejected by my family when i saw that with matthew it's different but the feelings it's the same It's so beautiful. It speaks to the heart. Makes you cry. Makes you laugh. When we met with Come and See together with the Chosen, we said, Bingo, this is one of the projects and the tools, an amazing work we need to be involved with, making it available and Hundred languages because the chosen speaks to the heart. My team at Lighthouse in Egypt and, and Lebanon is so excited doing the, the chosen in three Arabic languages. We're not the same. We're not what we were before. That's the beauty of what the chosen is doing bringing it to people, to see their hearts changed, to move into a point where they can be discipled through God's Word. <laughs> Youth groups and churches and small groups and house groups can use the chosen material in their own language. And that's what I'm excited, like, with Ninette, she's a youth leader in her church in Beirut, Lebanon. This is going to bring the impact of this outreach in Lebanon and in Egypt and in Syria because the youth are hungry for something like that. Lots of young people, Christian or non-Christian, they don't belong to the churches, but they watch the chosen, they said, oh, we never learned or heard or understood Christ like this before. What if they spend that time on something that could actually make them think differently, where they can see people like them and people who are different than them so that they could grow? I want people to know they can be saved and their life can be different and they can actually have hope. Come and see can have great impact on the Arab region. It's the best tool to tell the story of God's love, of God's salvation to all nations till the end of the days.